Hey, this is Chris with Hilux Optics. Today we got the Malcolm second generation A power scope on top of our O3A1 Springfield rifle. Let's just get into it. The big change from this version to the previous generation is in the mounts. It's all about the mounts. This features our urinal style competition mounts. Every click is super positive and there's zero backlash in between the clicks. Moving up, we have a laser welded Pope rib this time on this version. Uh, it's all spot welded and much straighter and stronger than the previous version. Um, going up to the objective, you'll notice that all the threads on the scope, on the objective and the eyepiece are refined. They're very, very smooth and turn very, very easily. Let me just give you a little demonstration. So we'll remove the, sun, the sunshade. These, these threads are very fine. So the sunshade actually acts as a, a lock ring for your parallax. Once we remove the sunshade, you can actually change your parallax for whatever distance you're shooting. All right, there we go. We have a number of markers on here, and these markers are just used for references. So depending on the atmospheric conditions, your parallax setting might change a little bit slightly, even though it's the same distance. Um, once you feel comfortable with the parallax adjustment, you can make a little dot over here with a Sharpie or a whiteout. And then that way you'll, you'll have a quick reference to know, like, hey, this is my, my 50 yard parallax setting or so. So if you wanna move your parallax in closer, you rotate it clockwise. And as you see, it's very smooth and it's pushing the objective bell housing out. If you want to move the parallax in to a farther distance, you need to rotate it counterclockwise. But as you do that rotation, you'll notice that a little gap starts to form between the end of the objective lens housing and the end of the threads. So what you need to do to make sure the parallax setting is set is to actually physically press this housing until it touches the threads. Once you got your parallax dialed to where you want it to be, you can put on that sunshade cover. But for me, I'm gonna get this bore sided in at 25 yards. I'm gonna zero it a, an inch and a half low at 25, and that should put me on at 100 yards. All right, let's check this out. So now that we have the parallax set, what we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna remove the bolt on this rifle and get it bore sided at 25 yards. I like to get bore sided at a closer distance because it ensures that I'll get on paper once I bring it out to 100 or a further distance like 200 or 300. It's a good way to save some ammo and time. All right, so with my trusty shooting bag, I'm gonna get in this nice stable position, find a reference point on the target and look through the scope and on the bore. All right, let me see. I'll go for that right side of that, um, the target, uh, the top target. Okay, so it seems like I need to move the crosshairs to the right. Ever so slightly. I'd say this should be pretty close. That should put us on. Let's uh, take a couple shots and confirm. So get the bolt back in and I'm just gonna turn it, flip the selector to off so I can single feed the bullets. Cool. So we got one chambered. I'm gonna go for target number one on the bottom target. So that's the middle one in the top row. I'm gonna hold dead center and see where the impact goes. Okay, we're pretty close. Looks like we're about an inch low and maybe three quarters of an inch to the left. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna shoot another one just to make sure. Actually, I'll shoot a group, let's we'll see. Get some more data. So, 
make sure you pull the scope back in a battery. And what that means is that you just pull it back until it hits that front stop ring. This will ensure that you have a consistent shooting position or, or consistent eye relief and consistent zero. Your point of impact will shift as the scope moves forward from the recoil. So it's good to double check and make sure it's in the right position before you shoot. All right, that could have been me. Let's just do one more. All right, so it seems like our groove is about maybe an inch and a, an inch, a little bit more than an inch low. About, I'd say it's an inch to the left. So we'll, we'll make the corrections right now. In order to get our 100 yard zero pretty close, we need to be an inch and a half low at 25 yards. Right now we're at about an inch. So we need to move the point of impact lower by half an inch. So at 25 yards, that's two MOA, or eight clicks. So an easy uh, rule of thumb to remember for this scope is the point of impact will move in the same direction the rear of the scope moves. So as we turn this clockwise, it's gonna move this rear part, rear of the scope down, and it's also gonna move our point of impact down. So I'm gonna move it eight clicks clockwise. And similarly, this, uh, for the windage, we need to move it an inch to the right. So an inch at 25 yards is four MOA, or 16 clicks. So to move the rear of the scope to the right, I need to move this counterclockwise. So I'll do it 16 clicks counterclockwise. Man, I just love how solid these clicks feel. All right, let's do another group, and then we'll see, uh, we'll move it out to 100 after. And you're good to go. Okay, let me just do a group. Okay. It seems like it is around a, an inch and a half low. Yeah, the average is about an inch and a half low. And I think I need to move over a half an inch to the left. I might have over dialed for the windage. Oh, it's no problem though. Um, so half an inch, let's go back. Let's just go back one MOA, we'll split the difference. So I'm gonna move back to the left, so that needs, I need to move it clockwise. So I'll go four clicks clockwise. Okay, now we'll move the target out to 100 yards and we'll get it dialed in there. Great, we moved the target out to 100 yards. Now we're gonna get sighted in at 100 and really fine tune that zero. So first off, what I wanna make sure I do is adjust the parallax. Um, because we had it set at 25 yards and now we moved it out to 100, we're going to have to rotate the dial counterclockwise. So as I'm rotating this counterclockwise, I'm going to have to push it back in for the parallax to set. So I'm going to set it and see and check the parallax. It helps to have a nice rifle stand or bag to make sure that you really eliminate all that parallax. I'm just gonna move my head a little bit and see if the reticle floats around the target. Okay, still got some parallax right here. Let's see. That's much better. I'll just do a little bit more. Okay, perfect. I think we're good. 
great. All right, I'm gonna shoot a three shot group. I'm gonna go for target three on the bottom left. Man, this table's hot. Make sure I take my time. One more. All right, let's take a look at the spotter and see where our impacts are landing. We walked out to the 100 yard target and let's take a look at target three. So I see there's an impact about half an inch low, one about an inch low, and another one about two inches low. We're shooting some British surplus, I think 150 grain, 30 odd six. Uh, not too happy with this group, but it's the best that we got right now. It's nowhere near as accurate as that Greek stuff but we'll make the correction. So I'll average it out, dial up uh, one MOA, and then we'll start ringing out steel to 650. All right, let's go. So course of fire, we'll go from 100 yards, the orange right in front of us, swing left to the 200, then 300, 400, all left targets, 500 with the big five, and then the 600 directly in front of us, that 30 inch plate. All right. So I'm going to go for 100. Hit. I'm going to dial to 200, so that's 2 MOA, so 8 clicks up. Reset to battery. All right, now I'm going to get back on target. Hit center. All right, 300. I'm going to need five on my way up. So that's about 12 more clicks. Make sure I have a fresh round. Okay, good. 300. I'm going for the left target. Hit, two inches above center. 400, I need 8.2, eight, eight and a quarter MOA, so 13 more clicks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, 400. I'm going for the one with the orange in the middle. It's center. Great. All right, 500, I need 12 MOA, so that's 15 more clicks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's check and make sure. Okay. 500 with the big five. All right, now 600, I need 30 more clicks.
security. All right, let's make sure. All right, last one. Here we go. Impact. Nice. Well, there you have it, six for six out to 650. Um, this is the Malcolm A Power second generation, and uh, if you want more information, you can go on our website, www.hiluxoptics.com.